welcome to Unforsaken TV, Season 1, Episode 2, and we're focusing on canines today. We got a heck of a lot of action for you. We got my buddy up in Austin, PA, Warren Stuck, he's on the Coon Juice field staff. He's been tearing them up with gray juice. And, well, I also en ended up getting a nice gray fox to add to the ones that I got hunting this year. And it's a really good episode. I hope you enjoy it. Right now we're going to take you to the gray fox that I got early on to start the season in the second week. I had this set out maybe three, four days before it finally hit, and when it hit I was pretty excited. Check out the video. Well, I got my first canine of the 2017-18 season. Nice little gray fox here. Got him in off the gray juice. He's hooked good in that Bridger number two dogless. He is a pretty fox. A real pretty fox. Gray juice and a marshmallow on this set. That's pretty much what I've noticed these canines liked on trail cams and test sites. And he is a pretty fox. Hey buddy. Well, we'll get him taken care of and go on to the next one. is I have a good core group of staffers both with Bees O'Brien Game Calls and Coon Juice. One of those staffers has been working hard. His name's Orrin Stuckey out of Austin, PA. He's relatively new to calling. He's super new to trapping. He probably maybe set a few traps towards the end of last season. This year he's going full tilt and he's putting up some pretty good numbers. He um, never caught a coyote till this late, until this year and sure enough he ended up getting not one, not two, but he got three coyotes so far, and here we are, mid-November, and he's already piling them up pretty good considering where he lives, too. He's just north of me, mountains, a little bit of farmland mixed in, but he's mostly trapping in the mountains. He's doing real well. He's been using the coon juice, gray juice, and some sheep's wool and some dirt holes, and he's been hammering them, especially on the one remake. I think he's caught three canine off of that remake. But here, let's take a look at Warren's first coyote that he trapped using coon juice, gray juice, in a dirt hole. All right, I got a set here by this water hole. It's not out by the water hole because it's near the road. Uh, very near the road. But in the winter I noticed the animals using it. And there's a trail out to an old logging road. And the logging road Out here to where I got a couple of DP set. And we, and we got a coyote. He's gonna talk to us. Mean the old thing. Either that or you've been rolling in the mud. That was some awesome stuff, but not as awesome as the next set. This is a set where Warren caught three canines out of this set. He started off with the coyote, and then he remade it. Next day, another coyote. A couple days later, he had a red fox in the set. We're going to bring you all three of those canines right now. Check it out. It's excellent action. Way to go, Warren. Had a coyote today. On coon juice, gray juice, and sheep's wool. Real good deep catch too. Not going anywhere. Young coyote. Peeing in my trap. Got a coyote in a remake. 
first coyote I caught here was on coon juice blue or uh, gray juice and this remake was just gray juice and urine fox urine Nice red fox and a coyote remake. I had a set of, oops, sorry. I set a trap on the outside of the catch circle. Got it this nice, nice red. My dirt hole is still there on the inside of the catch circle. He didn't reach it. So it was a good set. Just a, just a flat set on the outside of the catch circle. No, no lure. From our patented archery stabilizer to gun barrel, Picatinny rail, and scope mounts, as well as a variety of custom mounting options, Tacticam is for any weapon, any season. Tacticam, share your hunt. Good stuff there from Warren up in Austin. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of staffers that's really going to be submitting. You'll get to see some stuff from Matt Robley and Jeremy Fry. Hopefully some stuff from Bryce McVicker, Dylan Everhart throughout the se as the season progresses here. And I, I believe we're going to have some stuff maybe from Ben Ocker and a few other guys that are on the staff that are that really know their stuff. It takes a lot to be able to call in trap, and a lot of these guys are doing both, and they're doing real well on both. That's really the good way to bring up some numbers 
in Pennsylvania to be able to call in trap. Next week's episode, or not weeks, next episode, it might not be as glorious, but there's going to be some junk in your trunk. We're bringing you some possum and skunk action on the next episode of Unforsaken TV. Thanks for watching, guys.